Developing now, a woman run over by a car, and deputies say it was intentional. And we are now learning the person behind the wheel is in custody. Local 10's Roy Ramos joins us live from that scene with some brand new video just coming in. I know you've been on this story all day. Roy, fill us in. Christy and Janice, well, we must warn our viewers, the video they are about to see is graphic, and for that reason, we have blurred a portion of it for you. But it captures this incident between who residents tell us were two friends. Oh my God, let me move my car. It's too early for all of this. <gasps> oh God. Cell phone video now at the center of an investigation with the Broward Sheriff's Office yeah, capturing the, the moment a woman first seen on the hood of a car falls to the ground. The vehicle hitting the victim, causing her to spin when the driver is then seen turning around and running her over again before she drives off. I saw the, the victim on the ground, head full of blood. Resident Sherry Linder rushed out of her home after hearing the impact to see the victim severely injured. There was a shoe, there was a belt or whatever, and a pool of blood. Sheriff Deputy said the hit and run was intentional, and witnesses tell me at the hands of her childhood friend. Tina Gore said it all started when her daughter and the suspect began arguing over who busted out the windows to her black SUV overnight when the argument escalated to violence Friday morning. It's not that like she hit her, she came again to ran my daughter head over also. The suspect taking off from the scene, but Broward Sheriff Deputy is able to find her car parked outside of her home and arrest her just a block away. I'm going crazy right now. I'm just trying to hold it up for the sake of my two other kids right now. The victim, 20-year-old Antonisha Gore, and her mother tells us she was rushed to the hospital in critical condition. While she is hopeful her daughter will pull through, she says she knows who's responsible and wants her held accountable for her actions. I want her to do the max because she tried to kill my daughter. So we have been in close contact with the Broward Sheriff's Office to get the name of this suspect and find out what charges she will be facing. As soon as we gather those details, we will be sure to let you know. As for the victim, unfortunately, at last check, she was still in critical condition. For now, near Fort Lauderdale, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News. Okay, Roy, thank you for that update.